Welcome back to this Friday edition of Good Day. Well, if you haven't finalized your plans for the holiday weekend, no worries. We've got you covered. Lifestyle blogger <laughs> Cynthia Smoot is here, feeling very patriotic, yes. understandably, to share some fun ideas <laughs> for July 4th. And we're going to start, Cynthia, in Fort Worth with a wonderful tradition there. Yeah, well, listen, if you're in Tarrant County, my pick is to head to the Fort Worth Botanic Gardens. It's one of the most beautiful spots in North Texas. Um, they're having what they're billing as an old-fashioned family picnic. The gates will open at 630. You'll have a couple of hours to roam the grounds and experience the beautiful landscape and scenery that's there. And then around 8 o'clock, the Fort Worth Symphony Orchestra will give a concert of lots of your traditional patriotic songs. Um, wow. You can bring in your own picnic and a blanket and spread out on the lawn, or if you're like things a little fancier like I do, <laughs> they have table seating and food available for purchase on site. So the tickets start at $22 and go up from there depending on the kind of dining experience you want to have. Mm, concerts in the garden. And of course, yeah. an amazing fireworks show after that. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay, and uh, Fair Park 4th on, on the 4th of July. That's right, Fair Park 4th on the 4th. Um, and it's basically going to be like a little mini state fair of Texas. So they're going to have the whole fair park grounds open, including the Midway, so you can purchase tickets to buy food and games just like you do at the fair. They're going to have a Dixieland band sort of roaming the grounds throughout the day. Around six or seven o'clock, they're going to have Dallas Winds in front of the Hall of State performing traditional patriotic songs. And then around nine, you'll head into the Cotton Bowl. For fireworks. Now, this is a free show. It's free to get in. It's free to see the fireworks. The Midway is the only thing you have to purchase tickets for. So, if you want to have a less expensive family fun day, just skip the Midway, head over to the Hall Estate <laughs> for Dallas Win. So, yeah. it's going to be a fantastic fireworks show. You'll be able to see for miles, but the epicenter is going to be at the Cotton Bowl. But free, that's always a nice feature. Yes. Okay, McKinney, Red, White, and Boom. I love that name, Red, White, and Boom. <laughs> So the city of McKinney is going to start during the day in downtown on the square. They'll have a historic um, car, truck, and cycle show with lots of kids' activities. That evening, you'll want to head over to Craig Ranch at the soccer complex. Um, they're going to have, again, lots of kids' activities, things to do. And then our classical music station, WRR at 101.1, will be simulcasting patriotic songs um, and, uh, under the stars, a great fireworks show. Okay, and also Monday, July 4th, uh, Frisco Freed Fest. Yeah, so in Frisco, they're having something really fun. It's called the Hotter Than Firecrackers 5K Glow Run. Um, and what they're going to do is the runners who are participating in the race, you get an LED headband and you're encouraged to wear fluorescent gear. So in my head, I'm picturing this like a bunch of neon fireflies as the runners <laughs> run the race. It's gonna, the race starts yeah. at 9 o'clock. All right, and we want to duck in real quick. Park City's 4th of July parade at Gore Park includes right. a family bicycle contest. Judging for that, uh, again, July 4th. Yeah. Judging starts at 8 a.m. For a complete list of July 4th events around North Texas, go to fox4news.com. Uh, Cynthia will also have them on her Oh So Cynthia blog.